Thank you very much. Well, hopefully in the next seven minutes, I'll give you a, a, a brief understanding of what MyCard's all about. MyCard stands for My Internet Identity. And it's a federated online identity service that, that tries to validate you are who you say you are. It doesn't focus on validating information about you. That's what credit reference agencies do. Uh, but it does focus on, on that you are that person. It's a digital passport, so it's something you create and set up once, and it's there for you every time you go and travel the internet. It's not a visa. You don't take it out every time you go to a new country. It's something that you do once. If you think about the trust that a passport and a driver's license have within it, that's similar to this level of trust, or what we call level of assurance, that, that we're trying to create in, in my card. And with this level of trust, we, we, we believe very strongly that we can change the way financial products are, are sold online. More than ever, trust is becoming an issue. We've seen a, a few examples today around trust and security. As the internet uh, continues to develop, as that digital economy continues to develop, there's more and more issues. In financial services, we see some great stats around uh, the dropout rates associated with selling financial products online. Uh, in the UK, it's 70 to 90 percent of financial products that are sold online drop away as soon as an offline process is introduced. And that's pretty incredible considering that those are people that have already made the buying decision to go take out that current account or, or ISA and investment, uh, but don't continue because the process goes offline. And that's what we're trying to achieve here in my card, trying to, do, trying to achieve a, a purely online, real-time environment. The best way to get an understanding of that, the reason why we're here, is to do a quick demo. So I'm going to take you through National Bank. It's a fictitious bank um, selling all of their products online. And you, you notice from the top bar, it's not just the simple financial products like uh, credit cards and, and savings accounts, which are, are fairly low risk. Many of those sold almost or, or completely online today. But also the higher risk and even regulated financial products, loans, mortgages, where there's a, there's a high risk, investments where they're regulated. And from a uh, a know your customer in an anti-money laundering perspective, you have to go through certain checks. You have to be sure, again, that the person you're dealing with is who they say they are. Uh, and if we go through here, we'll just show you the user experience. I think this is the best way to, to, to understand my card or any, any real proposition. We have a, a current account application form. Whatever uh, content is, is normally there. Uh, and on the side, we've, we've got the option for a consumer to use their my card. If they don't have a my card, just like signing up, signing up to a Google account, it takes five minutes to do so. We'll pretend for an instance that we, we're already uh, a MyCard uh, user and we have that and we'll come back to creating an account later. Uh, we get a co-branded uh, authentication page. So we'll just pretend we're very creatively John Doe. Got to think of a, a new name sooner or later for that. Uh, we use strong authentication. So part of, uh, again, a lot of what we heard today is, is about maintaining that security because we're using a uh, invoking a, a consumer's identity here for, for confirmation. Uh, we want to make sure that they are who they say they are again and they belong to that identity. So we use one-time passwords over SMS. I wasn't allowed to bring my phone up here, so I'm just going to put in a little cheat code and verify. It's a, my card is a very user-centric service, so we're trying to put the consumer in control of their identity as much as possible. We want them to confirm that they're happy with the information that's held on them to be shared with the vendor. So we ask them to confirm the submit. We get the application form pre-filled with all the validated MyCard information, and that's, that's flagged. Those fields are marked as read only. And the consumer, all they have to do is click continue, fill out a few more fields, submit the application, and congratulations. The vendor at that point can make the decision whether to issue or not issue that product to the, the consumer to complete that transaction. No other process, no other offline process is involved in this transaction, including wet signatures, which we can accomplish purely online and again in real time. So how do you get the, the I guess the next big question is, is where the magic is. How do you set up a MyCard? If we log in to John Doe's account here, we'll get the MyCard page. The top section is just your basic identity. The way MyCard works is you sign up. You get your basic identity, and then you add levels of verification on top of it. Uh, the more validation you add, the more you can do with that uh, identity. We've partnered with Yodley uh, to provide initially the, the, the links for validation. Adding those is easy as adding any online banking details. If we just go through here, I'll just type in some 
random information and click validate, right? So this is mocked up here so that we can see it being added. At that point, we go and we link those online financial accounts to this identity and we revalidate that every night. That's the cornerstone of the MyCard identity. Again, the more validation you add, the more you can do with it. It's all dependent upon what the vendor, re vendor requires to sell that product. So that's, that's pretty much it for the, the demo. It's, uh, as I said, a user-centric service. We're trying to address in financial services particularly, although MyCard does apply to, to the, the, the internet world in general, where you need to trust people, whether it's a, a, a dating site or social networking on Facebook. We need to establish trust between people, and especially between vendors and consumers. As I said, in financial services, there's that 70 to 90% dropout rate, which is the first pain we're trying to address. Uh, but there's also two others in financial services. There's the cost of execution. So to complete that current account sign-up process, in the UK, it would cost an institution 50 to 80 pounds to process that application traditionally. If we're providing this online, we're taking that cost away. The third one we've talked, uh, again, a lot about today is, is the fraud. Uh, KPMG released their, their, their numbers the other day, 3.6 billion in UK financial fraud, I think was the number. Uh, again, a huge amount of, of issue there with not being able to trust people online. Um, and I, I think if, if, if at my card we can provide uh, a solution to at least one of those market pains, we have the opportunity to change the way these financial products are sold online. Uh, we can provide a solution to all three market panes, and uh, again, with, with a bit of help from Yaldi, you know, we can establish MyCard as a, a standard for, for those digital passports and, and for getting on and, and just doing what we need to do online, which is sell more financial products and do more transactions. So thank you very much.